Who are you? Are you everything you believe you are? Do you believe in God? You should know by now there is another you in the wired. Who are you? I am you. <laughs> Rewrite the truth. Obliterate reality. If there's anything you want. Anything at all. Come, come to me. me. Mankind always needs a leader. That leader is God. concretizations of pure imagination and thought. The bricks and mortar of the architect's vision, which started out as purely a figment of his... Like the Brothers Grimm, Vladimir Propp, in his groundbreaking 1917 work, Morphology of the Folktale, which incidentally was not translated into English until the 1970s, Propp identified 31 elements of the folktale, none of which repeats. And yet, as we identify each of those elements, Somewhat akin to Who are you? It does not matter who I am. There is no point for you to exist in the real world. You should realize that and give up your body. Give up my body? What do you mean? Everyone is connected. 
something interesting is about to happen. Every human being is alone. We are not connected to anybody. Restored to life. And so we can see through those structures that... Rain. Rain. Are you alright? I'm sorry. I have to go... Kids these days. All right, where were we? In the structures of human... What's happening to me? Who are you? Rain, I already answered that question. There is a theory about man being unable to evolve further. Mankind is only concerned with short-term satisfaction. Isn't it meaningless? Is this how we should live? There is no need to continue this miserable life. And what do you suggest people should do? <laughs> they should all abandon their useless bodies and transfer their consciousness onto the wire. Why does it take you so long to realize it? The wire is the future. It is the only future. Everything is possible there. Nothing can stop you. You're wrong. Are we? Think about it. We can assume whichever identity we want. We can invade others' privacy at will. We can pretend to be something we're not in the real world. Exactly. Everything in the Wired is not real. Doing wrong is not an excuse. And pretending to be something only means you're stuck within an illusion. Very good, Rain. Perhaps you are correct. However, do not deny that the human body has reached its limit. The only way for people to evolve is to merge with the Wired. Are you really a god? In the wired world, you could say, I am a god. The body is redundant. You're wrong. Hmm? I don't really understand what you're talking about, but I'm sure that you're wrong. Rain. 
Do you know who you are? What do you mean? You're a true enigma. Your existence has been confirmed both in the real world and the wired. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Rain, are you okay? You just don't talk much lately. Something wrong? I'm fine. Everything's fine. All right. But let's hang out after class today, okay? Sure. Class is in session now. Please sit down. Schopenhauer said we are not so much authors of our own life stories as editors. Today we'll look at the power of editing to shape and help us tell those stories. The movie is so funny, but it's like really, really too far. And I think that, I don't know, it's just a bit like too much, I think. Oh my gosh, have you seen these things that they do? What they do is they see if, um, if you do something really embarrassing in public, if anyone will come up to you and say... What's the matter, Rain? Is she boring you? All people are boring from time to time. Not in the wired. Here we always have fun. Why don't you join us? It's kind of getting cold, so maybe it'd be a good idea to get some of that stuff. Rain? Are you listening? Sure. Oh, no. You didn't even hear what I just said. Jeez. Come here. I'm on the roof. Irene? I'm sorry, I just, I have to go somewhere really quickly. Rain! So, Rain, wait. you're finally willing to accept who you really are. I am just myself. There is nothing special about me. Free yourself of the torment of being encapsulated in that useless body. You want me to kill myself? Rain, who are you talking to? Why use such rash terms? I simply want you to free yourself of your suffering. If you're a god in the wire, that means you can't exist without global communications, right? You're talking to a god? That's right. But the Wired will always exist as long as man strives to improve it. Man has the right to control the technology he creates. And who gives man that right? Do you think you gave him that right? Rain, what's going on? What are you trying to say? It's okay, Irene. Don't worry. You would never understand, as you already gave up your body. I am all-powerful. I control everything. You may control everything in the Wired, but without a physical body, you are nothing in the real world. What kind of logic is that? You may be a god in the Wired, but what were you before the Wired existed? I'm different. I'm... Memory, they do not exist. And I really don't know you. No. What are you saying? I'm what you never were. That's impossible. No. Irene, Irene, get a hold of yourself. What, you, what, what just happened? Who are you? I'm just myself. Come on, let's go. It's cold here. What are you? I just have powers ordinary people don't. 
I'm still the same person you've known for years. I'm your friend. It doesn't matter if people pretend in the wired. They only fool themselves by doing so and deceive other weak-minded people. The wired is indeed very powerful, but it will never surpass the wonders of the real world. I do exist both in the wired and the real world, but I never try to control anything. Nobody needs a god in the wired or the real world. I know for certain who I am. I am Rain. But who are you? He says has a sort of flow. What kind of flow? A flow that it can only be found in the wild. <laughs>